Alright, and lastly, I'm going to show you a hodgepodge of the other things I find in the Kentucky Creeks here. Um, well, I find a lot of fossils too. Some of these I haven't found some. I will admit that they were gifts from uh, my brother-in-law. Thanks, Logan. Um, so, well, here I have another mono, too, I forgot to show you earlier. Um, similar to the one that I assume was made, used for working ochre and stuff, but um, very flat, smooth underside here. And very compact. Um, well, here's uh, some of the fossils that I find around here. Um, this one is a sponge. Or a brain coral, maybe. Um, because if you didn't know already, billions of years ago, or millions, whatever it was, um, Kentucky was under an ocean. So we find a lot of uh, sea creatures in the middle of Kentucky, which is very landlocked, to say the least. And... I think that one's pretty cool. I can't remember where I found that one. Um, here is a horn coral that I found. I think I found this one up by uh, the Falls of the Ohio. Um, you can see that it's it's pretty neat. It looks like a horn, but it, it's actually a piece of coral. Um, another piece of coral. Almost looks like a piece of poo, but I promise you it's not. It's very, very old. Very, very old. Um, so the ones that I did not find are these which are fossilized manatee bones which are from down in Florida um, they were given to my son as a Christmas present he has a whole bookshelf full of them um, another one from Logan this cool trellis or no we've, we got this at a, up in Chillicothe, Ohio big old trellis Um, this one I found, um, it's got a cool bone fragment right here, and then there's a layer of quartz through it. Um, here's a, a just a, a, a scraper. I forgot to throw that in with the other ones earlier. Um, there's a cool little geode, an agate. Okay. Found this one a couple of months ago, I think it was. 